SWH Fuse is a Python tool to mount the Software Heritage Archive as a virtual file system. It allows you to browse the entire software archive with your day-to-day -day CLI utilities. Once installed from PyPI, you can mount the virtual Fuse file system using SWHFS mount. The virtual file system has two entry points, archive for the software objects and meta for the metadata. Software objects are referenced by their intrinsic software heritage identifier, which can be found on the software heritage website. Here, we are looking up the SWH ID of a simple Hello World file. The file can be directly opened by editing archive slash the identifier. It is then fetched lazily from the archive and displayed in the text editor. Likewise, the content metadata can be viewed in JSON format by opening meta slash swhid.json. It is also possible to browse directories archived by software heritage by going into archive slash the identifier of the directory. Let's look at the directory containing the code from the Apollo 11 guidance computer. The files can be opened lazily with the standard CLI tools. For instance, this is the code of the moon landing. The metadata for directories is also accessible in Meta. Commits or revisions also have dedicated directories available in Archive. Inside, the root directory contains the project source tree in the past state captured by the given revision. The meta.json file contains metadata on the revision, for instance, the commit message, the name of the author, and the date of the commit. The parents directory gives access to the parents of the current commit by using symbolic links. The history directory gives access to the entire past history of a repository, up to the current commit. It can be browsed in three different ways. By date is partitioned by commit date. Each commit can be found in its corresponding directory, by date, slash year, slash month, slash day. By hash is partitioned by commit hash using the two leading hexadecimal characters of each hash. By page is standard pagination with the commits presented in topological order. Finally, it is also possible to look up snapshots containing the full state of a repository at a given date, including all its different branches and annotated tags. Here is the original Unix repository, which uses historical Unix releases as branch names. Media files can also be opened like this license file. This release is the Unix slash 32V release from 1979. It even has the source of the Fortune program. Using the SWH web command allows us to search in the list of archived origins. We can go in the repository of the Linux kernel, which was archived from GitHub. 
This repository was visited multiple times. The file system contains one directory per visit date. All the branches, directories and files of the repository can be seen as they were during each visit. You can find more information in our companion paper, the Software Heritage File System, Integrating Open Source Archival with Development.